So let's get deeper into detail about the new Chevrolet Traverse and the second generation show much improvement when you compare it to the older one. I didn't really like the previous version. It was kind of too soft. The rolling link was not really there. So that's why it fall really fast at the bottom of the segment. Right now for 2018 second generation, new look, new rolling link, better engine, and they thought about the family, they thought about technology, and they give a really great package. Remember, this one can go up to eight passenger. This is minivan territory, but guess what? It doesn't look like a minivan. And that's what I like right now with that little masculine look of the Chevrolet Traverse. You've got some reference when you compare it to the big brother, the suburban in the lineup. You've got also a bow tie with the red line edition up front, a lot of contrast of black accent. You're gonna see them on top. You're gonna see them on the side of the vehicle. Even the handle, the wheels with the red stripe, I think it's really good looking. When it's gonna come to the trunk, you can have an automated trunk. And you know, when you try with your foot to open some in the competition, you never know where to go. Oh, am I near the sensor? Am I okay? With the Chevrolet Traverse, you will have a Chevrolet logo display at the bottom with a LED light, and you will know exactly where to put your feet so the hatch will open. The interior seven or eight passenger, you've got an easy access to the rear seat. Even if there's a baby seat right there installed, you don't need to remove it. The children will be able to access the last row. And talking about the last row or even the second row, you've got finally enough space. Okay, maybe the last one with me uh, might be a little bit incompatible over a long period of drive. But guess what? Short distance so this is probably one of the best right now that you're gonna find in the segment. The screen, the technology, seven inches, eight inches, depending on what option package that you're gonna choose. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you've got even a secret stash that you can use to put your wallet if you're going at the beach, enter a password, there you go, it's gonna be secure in some kind of way. You've got a lot of USB connector, the Wi-Fi inside, you don't get any entertainment system in the rear, but don't worry about that. Children will plug their tabs and there you go, they're gonna be happy about about it it's like that today let's talk about space this is right now the leader in the segment and space is important when you got the family because guess what you have to bring a lot of stuff with them all the time so they play the cards well at Chevrolet by giving you the most spacious interior and thumbs up on that you can even add roof rack if you want and this is gonna be major so well done interior you know improvement everywhere you know back in the old days the americans didn't have great interior great quality but right now i can see some major improvement all around the vehicle let's talk about the engine 310 horsepower v6 3.6 this is the version that we tried it's going to be good for 260 pound feet of torque a nine speed transmission completely new is mated to uh, that uh, engine and it got the best power weight ratio right now in the segment. A new aluminum conception and it's going to be able to tow 5,000 pounds. Be careful, it's going to depend also on your engine choice, front wheel drive, all wheel drive, so be careful with that. So you can also choose a 2.0 liter engine, four cylinder turbo. It's going to be good for 255 horsepower, 295 pounds feet of torque more torque than the v6 once again and the suspension is going to be also different it's made into the same transmission though when you compare it to the version that i have right now so it's going to be a little bit more reactive a little bit more sporty fuel economy is going to be a little bit better also depending on your driving remember turbo engine and acceleration if you're always stepping on it you know what will happen so when it comes to road handling even if it's looking like a truck it doesn't feel like one at all. It doesn't feel like a minivan. It feels like a Chevrolet Traverse. You know, those nice crossover that handles well, doesn't feel too big. You can go around town easily. You can go light off-roading 
easily, you know, a route at the camp. And you can go into snow and feeling reassured right now. The suspension has been calibrated and it's really fine. We've went into some deep potholes, some turns, some acceleration, some braking force, and believe me, it will hold on. You've got great continental towers also on the model that we have right now. Even the direction is kind of inspiring. You've got an okay feedback and it feels like the one in the Camaro. Okay, maybe not the most powerful one, but it feels like they did a great job on that. And that's important, the communication between the driver, between the road, when you got these big vehicles out there and it's adaptive depending on the condition that you're gonna find yourself in. And they remove some weight and it shows. When you're gonna be accelerating, the transmission will respond and give you great reaction. But sometimes when you're going to jerk around with the accelerator in some turns, it will try to find the gear. It's not annoying, but it might be a little bit jerky. Otherwise, under regular driving, you don't feel it. You can't even hear it. You don't even feel the gear change. And that's a major. You've got a terrain selector that you can choose to go into two-wheel drive four-wheel drive, uh, off-road territory, and towing. So it's going to adapt and give you a better reaction depending on the condition. And if you go for the high country, you're gonna have a different all-wheel drive system, which is gonna be a twin clutch system. So it's much more for having fun in the corners, having a little bit more sporty reaction when you're gonna be in a turn. So it's gonna act as a victoring system or a yaw assist. I don't think it's gonna be really better off-road, maybe a little bit more reaction, but even then, you've got a great system right now. So you can go for the front wheel drive also, but you know, hey, here in Canada, when you've got a lot of snow, all wheel drive might be the better choice though. But fuel economy is gonna be better also with the front wheel drive. You've got a lot of competition out there. The Mazda CX-9 is one. You probably saw the video that we did. You've got a great finishing quality. You've got a great unlimited mileage warranty also that you can go for. The all-wheel drive system is not really the same. But hey, you know, they're gonna make some improvement for 2018, but this is a great vehicle out there. But you don't have the same interior space as a Chevrolet Traverse right now. So this is really a hard fight between the two. The Volkswagen Atlas is also a contender. It feels big. You've got a great work of Volkswagen right now, but you know, with everything that's happened, the price can be high. The reality sometime over here in Canada, it's a roll of dice sometime, but hey, if you like your Atlas, feel free to comment that in the section down there below. Tell us about how it's going over the time with yours. The GMC Acadia is a contender also. It's the cousin out there. It kind of shrink. It's a little bit smaller. It's really a face-to-face -face right now with those two vehicles, but I think I prefer a little bit more the Chevrolet Traverse. The under pilot now talking about minivan. This is looking like a minivan. Still, it handles really great. You've got that sound of the engine, which is really impressive. Reliability is the key of under. But if you like something different, something that you can personalize, you will have to go with the Chevrolet. Another well-known contender is the Hyundai Santa Fe. You've got a great balance between the price and what you get with the equipment. But first of all, it's time for a change. And I don't know, when I look in the parking, you know, those who are five years old, four years old, they tend to age more rapidly when you compare it to the others in the segment. I don't know, you feel free to tell me what you think about that affirmation in the comments down there below. Resale value is not going to be the same. Also, you still got a great warranty, but it doesn't feel as the same road and link. And when you've got also the last row of seating with the Excel version that you can choose, you don't have the same place inside. You're not gonna be as comfortable as in this one. The Toyota Islander is another contender, strong contender. You've got the truck look also. You've got a hybrid version which is available, which is really interesting when it comes to fuel efficiency. But the Highlander cannot be as personalized 
as a traverse, you've still got a great reliability Toyota is there for that. The prices will be a little bit higher depending on the version that you will want to choose. Still, I love the Highlander, but it's time also for a little bit of change. And don't think about Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in Toyota vehicles out there. The Nissan Pathfinder, the interior, well, might not be as comparable to this one. You've got much more plastic, but the Pathfinder is the king of towing. The towing capacity is the best in this segment. The Ford Explorer, well, when you compare the two looks right now of the vehicle that we have, you might see some similarity because you gave me great comments on my Facebook page about the look. I find it cool. I love the Explorer. The EcoBoost engine are there. You've got great reactivity, but when you talk about EcoBoost engine, what does happen? You've got turbo, more maintenance, fuel consumption sometimes might be a little bit high. So let's talk about fuel consumption for our vehicle right now that we have. Into town, it's going to be 13.7 liter, 9.4 on the highway with the all-wheel drive V6 version that we have right here. We did less uh, around 11. I know we didn't have any children. We were light luggage over here, but still a lot of acceleration, braking, curves and everything like that. And we did also some, some routes with a lot of elevation and downhill. So I think that's going to be a great fuel consumption that you might have also depending on where you're living and your style of driving. When it comes to security, this is really important also for this kind of vehicle. You've got those collision warning system, the 360 degree camera, the nice reverse camera in the mirror right here. And you've got those two cool system, uh, which is the team control and the rear seat reminder that we talked with Nick a little bit earlier. So security is important for Chevrolet. And you've got an interesting old package. So it's time for the minus and the plus right now of the Chevrolet Traverse. First of all, it can go really fast into price territory. With the high country over $60,000, you've got to be careful. The transmission can be sometimes a little bit jerky depending on your style of driving. If you like performance, well, might switch it to manual mode if you can. It might be a little bit more thirsty into town. You're gonna have to be careful with your acceleration, but hey, you tell me if you own a Chevrolet Traverse right now. And the ventilation sound, if you roll down the window, that's a little experience that we had. Both windows were down. We could hear some air recirculating right there into the system. I don't know, some kind of the compression. Well, if you have that, feel free to tell us and uh, try to play with the speed of the fan. If it's running faster, you will hear a little bit more that sound, that kind of hissing sound. But I don't know, it might be the production model that we have right now. I hope they are not going to be all like that. But hey, you feel free to comment down there and tell me if you have that problem. On the plus side though, power is there, rolling link is there. You've got interior space, which is the leader of the category right now. You've got a great warranty on the engine. You've got the look of the red line, the look of the high country, the personalization that you can do to those vehicles out there. And you've got your oil change, which is included for two years. So in conclusion, it went from the back of the pack to podium. Interesting, Chevrolet, great job on that. And remember, if you think about a minivan for a passenger, well, $36,000 and you can get a Chevrolet Traverse with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. What? Forget about minivan, go for this one. So what do you think about that? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. Don't forget to do a thumbs up because you like that video and subscribe to Car Question because we love to talk about cars. Take care.